Jamaican people want better. This is the fastest growing municipality in Jamaica. It is. And for a man to have served this long, I want to give him his due respect. Because he has given so much. I also want to recognize the fact that in 2003 you got your municipality status, but I want to pick up this support for former Mayor George D. Having gotten that status, you had your own powers and your own budget. And citizens have rightly come to expect that you will have the services you desire. Hospital, market, parish court services, etc. Many of the expectations for services are not being realized by your, by your citizens. Many of them have been deteriorated and citizens in several poor poor communities are genuinely upset and you have a right to Your garbage not collecting. And when you do collect, you can't collect one time. You can't determine which day your garbage is going to be collected anymore. Those systems in place, when you put out your garbage bin, the dogs and the cats have their way because there's no system in place of managing which day you'll have garbage collection. But this evening, I want to be able to remind you that the role of local government was clearly separated when we had the first local government election in 1947. The truth is, when that election took place, 38 of the candidates who won were independent candidates. 32 were PMP and 30 were JNP. It indicates to me that there was an intention for there to have been a partnership with civil society and with community organization. A partnership with the people on the ground. Why is that so many independent candidates? Very important to know. As a result of that, I believe that when we took away some of the services of the local authority, we did a great different injustice to local government. In fact, agencies like the NSWA, the JSF, and Chase have removed a lot of the services which were to be provided by the local authorities. When the modern local authorities were established, Jamaica was predominantly rural. Things have changed somewhat because we have more urban centers now and more townships. So even where you have rural communities, you now have rural towns. As a result of that, there's this unplanned township which has come upon us, island-wide, dominated by illegal vending in some cases. Some of the critical amenities not having been put in place. Sewage and water and a lack of enforcement of municipal laws really has created slums, tough places for them. The inadequate funding of local authorities has resulted in the, the present poor state of the parochial road network. The inadequate land space for cemeteries, inadequate water supply systems. The increased urbanization has led to the increased demand for fire services and sanitation as well as 
to upgrade the dilapidated the state of our bodies. From me, I go to school as a little girl going to St. Jago High School. Come up in the hills of Brunson. It's a country bus and truck me to the school. The conditions for our people, our hard-working Jamaicans, who serve us by preparing our food and carrying it from country, has not improved over the years. The state of the markets, though you have tried mail, is still woefully inadequate. And when you have to step into a marketplace to buy food in some of the conditions we are now seeing, it remains woefully inadequate. It's important that the next PMP government pays attention to developing those services which are closest to the people because we are about the people. There's the parochial revenue fund. And 100% of the parochial revenue fund is supposed to go back to the municipalities. So 66 and two third percent is what you're getting as a minister. Some 20 percent is going to the equalization fund, and another 13 percent is going to the road maintenance fund. I beg of you to recognize that we no longer want to be at the discretion of any minister. We want our local authorities to be in a position to make their own decisions and to plan for the people they serve. We have a constituency development fund and as a team and a party, we are discussing how we can put in place a divisional development fund so that councils can in a real way service the people of the divisions that we've elected them. This would allow for proper planning. You can sit with a citizens' association. You can tell them when their drain is going to be clean. You can advise them that you can't do any work this month, but maybe next month or next year. And it's important so that I don't have to be begging a minister. We must get away from a place where every time something is to be done, for an elected representative for the people of the country, you have to be relying on a minister of government to make, to have a little, give you a little blind. It's who they're blind. What color is your shirt? That is what determines who gets work and who don't get work. Time comes for us to be able to charge our own <laughs> Successive governments have placed focus on main roads. We have super highways. Very little has been placed on our parochial roads where people live. The ski roads don't have no owner. They don't belong to parish roads. They don't belong to the NWA. They don't belong to nobody. So why are they paying taxes? Time come for a government which cares about people enough to want to see where they live. Our administration will be engaged in introducing a sustainable maintenance program that will realistically address each parish road network. Our Lentman program that we have now will be improved so that we can have true maintenance and not going over a road that we did two years ago. Three times you do one road before you're able to do one that has not yet been done. It can't work. Time comes for some sense of action. I want to see the same for my water supply. Where there's a source of water in communities, communities must get water where they live and get potable water where they live. All lives matter. If we can get water all the way up to Jack Seals, we should be getting water up to Mount Industry. We should be able to get water to every corner of Jamaica because we are a party that is about equity and we will call for all Jamaica. I want to say in conclusion, our garbage collection 
our workers, those workers who is here with every day picking up the garbage. In other places in the world, they are well paid. Garbage collectors are well paid across the world. They keep us clean. They keep us healthy. In Jamaica, they are the worst. And we're working backwards. We want to see garbage collectors and attendants getting medical insurance, getting better compensation, getting training and development, getting certification in how they maintain the tools that you apply to give to them. Give them hard certification in landscaping. Make it be so that it's a career that they can also be proud of and they can feed their families. Councillors are the voices of the people. Councillors are the first citizens of their divisions. And in a developing country, we want to see local government work. We are the party that believes in local government. And as a leader of Mark Golden, we are going to ensure that local government works for the people of the